Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is. Good morning, this is Brendan. And I'm Amelia. Here are your announcements for Friday, May 5th. Attention, all teachers and students, we need your help in getting a survey completed by the end of the day today. If you have not taken the survey yet, please restart your Chromebook. This survey is so the school corporation can find out if you have internet access away from school. There are only six short questions and will only take a couple of minutes to complete. The survey committee thanks you for your help. The top five current Warrior Time classes in the Relay for Life competition include Zolman at $18, Frawbeard with $11.20, Aguilar with $9.82, Eakins with $9, and Van Lu with 7 Tonight will be the last chance to raise money to win some Rise and Roll Donuts. You can still talk to Mrs. Wegner and let her know if you'll be participating in the walk next Saturday between noon and midnight at Quaker Haven Camp. The live productions were very successful this year. Now it's time to congratulate those who made them possible. May 15th at the annual Drama Awards Banquet, Mrs. Thornburg has a sign-up sheet in her classroom. Check your school emails for information on how to receive e-books so you can have plenty to read over the summer, as all the LRC's printed material will be due May 19th. Items for class purposes may be checked out as needed. Additional help can be given there. Seating for next Friday and Saturday's Disney Spectacular Choir Show are reserved, so order your tickets as soon as possible. Then be at the auditorium by 7.30 p.m. Checks for your tickets can be made to the Wawasee High School Choirs. The price is just $8 for adults, $6 for students, and $4 for preschoolers. We will publish as many submissions we get for the Journalism Classes Literary Magazine that space allows. So have all your written, artistic, and photographic work in by next Monday. Copies will be sent out by hand or digitally before the school year is over. Now, here's Andrew at the Sports Desk. Thanks, Brendan. In sports, all events scheduled yesterday were postponed. Warriors in action tonight include the girls' JV and varsity tennis match, which was postponed last night, will be played tonight at Northwood at 4.30 p.m. The JV and varsity baseball team will travel to Elkhart Memorial. First pitch will be at 5 p.m. The JV and varsity softball teams will host Elkhart Memorial. First pitch will also be at 5 p.m. The boys and girls track and field teams will travel to Goshen to take on the Red Hawks. The meet will begin at 5.30 p.m. On Saturday, the JV and varsity baseball teams will travel to Fort Wayne Concordia. The varsity will begin at 10 a.m. with the JV to follow. And the JV tennis team will compete in the NLC JV Invite at Warsaw High School. The tournament will begin at 9 a.m. The girls track and field team will compete in the Goshen Relays. The meet will begin at 9 a.m. The boys varsity golf team will compete in the Concord Invitational at Ben Oak Golf Course. The guys will tee off at 1 p.m. And the varsity softball team will compete in the Eastside Invitational. The tourney will start at 10 a.m. Now let's take you to Michael for the lunch and breakfast menus. For today's lunch, calzone pizza or hot dog, baked beans, corn, and pears. And breakfast for tomorrow will include Cook's Choice. Now back to Brendan and Amelia. Thanks, Michael. There's your announcements for Friday, May 5th. I'm Brendan. I'm Amelia. Happy, Happy Cinco, Cinco de Mayo, Wawasee.